All right, I'm with my helper, Sebastian. And if you can see here, one of my hydraulic lines on the bucket right here has a nice tear in it and it's leaking. So we're going to take that off and I'm going to make a new one. I'm going to show you how you make a new hydraulic line. And also this one here, uh, the crimp seems to be uh, leaking here. So we're going to take this one off as well. So let's get these off and uh, show you how to make a new one. Right, Bubba? Yeah. Okay. All right, so we got the hoses off, with the help of my assistant. <laughs> and we got a 3 8 I believe it's a two wire hose. And it looks like a JIC fitting. And uh, O ring boss on the end. So let's take these in. And we're going to make a new couple new hoses here okay so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna measure the length of the hose I took off my bucket and what we'll do is we measure the length with the fittings so whatever the length is from fitting to fitting so our first hose is 23 inches and our second hose is 49 inches so we'll also get our fittings now because you want you'll need those to cut your hose so this is just a simple uh, goes from a 3 inch 3 8 hose to a half inch uh, standard JIC fitting and the other end is what's called a male boss so what I like to do is let me get the camera down here so you can see a little bit better so our first one's going to be 23 inches, kind of, so you can see. What we'll do is I'll put one of the fittings just on the end, like that, before I crimp it. And I'll go to the 23 inch mark here. I'll get my other fitting put on the end, right to the end. We'll take our mark. We'll mark where we cut it. All right, once we're done cutting the hose, we have this air attachment. And what it happens is this air attachment actually sends a pro projectile uh, down into the through the hose and it cleans out the hose so this is our tool here we'll open it up we'll put our foam piece in here make sure it latches we'll take our make sure it's against something so when it comes out it stops we'll put our end in there fire it out as you can see comes out the other end your hose is nice and clean. Now we're ready for crimping. We are crimping 3 8 inch, so we'll find our die, right die here. And how we know, hose goes by 16, uh, number 16 is an inch, so a number 6 would be 3 8 of an inch. We'll put our die in, and then we'll also go up to our settings here and hit the Number two, this has some presets already, so we're gonna go for a number six, because uh, that's our hose size. We'll also take our end, this is our boss fitting, and we'll push that on and make sure it's nice and pushed on there, and then we're gonna put this in and crimp it. And that's what it looks like when it's crimped on.
Look at that beautiful crimp. All right, guys, well, that's how you make a hydraulic line. And uh, that's a simple JIC fitting with a male boss end. But the one good thing about this store is our express hose centers is you can walk in with that. You know, this is off my bucket. And you can walk out with this. So that is how you make a hydraulic line. Okay, new hoses installed, if you can see there. This one right here, that's where my tear was. That is unhooked up, and then I have this one that runs along all the way to here. This one was leaking right where the crimp was. So that's the new hose, so we're gonna start it up and give it a try. We replaced those two hydraulic hoses, working great. And those should last forever. <laughs> so buckets ready for action. So thanks for watching. God bless y'all.